It is rare to see lawyers plead for the cause of women of North Kivu at the court of Goma. However, despite the lengthy proceedings and errors that may bias trials dealing with gender-based violence against women, an organization called Dynamics of Women Lawyers, or DFJ, does everything it can to ensure clients are successful. Claudine Tsongo, lawyer and coordinator of the DFJ. To advocate for abused women is not easy. There is political interference. There is financial interference. Some of these cases even bring us in danger. However, the DFJ thinks that even in these cases, justice should be done and the victims deserve protection throughout. In collaboration with others, DFJ is really trying to protect the victim and also see that justice is done. It is not always easy to be the lawyer of the litigant who needs justice. Whether it is an easy case or whether it is a difficult case, we have a mission and we will put all our efforts to reach the goal. Que ça soit difficile, que ça soit facile, on est, on a une mission qu'on doit réaliser. There is a lot of legislation on sexual violence already completed, and the community has started to feel a kind of pressure from the Congolese justice system that discourages sexual violence and discrimination based on gender. In more and more cases, a man is marked as, as the perpetrator by his own community. Currently, advocates of the DFJ bring suspects to justice in order to destroy the old system, a system that abuses women and girls because of their gender a system once considered normal and anchored in the community. Proud of their results, these women lawyers rejoice at each guilty verdict. Listen again to Claudine Tsongo. Yes, we sometimes are accused of causing trouble in a family. Society treats us as troublemakers because we raise awareness of human rights and specifically women's rights. And this awareness is a positive aspect. When people in the community accuse us of making trouble, they are afraid. Our answer is that, one way or another, we won. While some men do not approve of the activities of the dynamics of women lawyers in Goma, others have developed a new attitude towards Congolese women. Makel Sambo is a well-known musician in the eastern part of the country. He has changed his attitude towards women. He has acquired a new perception of their rights. Today, he rejects the practices that abuse women and girls and neglect their rights. Before I became aware of women's rights, I considered a woman as an inferior creature. However, after all the atrocities we passed through in this region, we became aware of the rights of women. Today, I consider a woman as another me, as equal to myself, as a person who has the same rights as I have, as a person who has the same dignity as I have, who has the same right to life as I have, and who has the same rights to respect as I have. In short, they have all the rights men have. When talking about the future, Claudine Tsongo would like to see a better Congo without images of violence against women. She would like to see a country that radiates success in Africa and in the world with an equal participation of women and men. This suggests that the policy to stop violence against women should start at the basis of the community and influence the top. At the very base of the community, there are many initiatives to educate women and to ask women what they really want. So, first meet the needs of these women at the local level. Develop their awareness to their rights, then take the actions that lead the bottom up. Too often, actions that start at the top stop on their way down. If the action starts at the bottom, together with women who are victims of gender-based violence, you can get results. I think every woman can be an agent of change, but this also implies collaboration with other members of the community. Men are also participants in this change. To defend female victims of gender-based violence is a job that requires much courage and endurance. Let all people join human rights defenders to discourage such inhumane practices. Guma, Karis Zihindula pour Waki News.